Let's go to energy management systems. This is an interesting rule. This is a 2023 change. Is that right, Mario? Yes, it is. And what they did was they said, hey, you know what? <clears throat> People are getting a lot of electric vehicles. And we saw that one example, electric vehicle, 48 amps. Brian, is that the biggest they make electric vehicles? Oh, no. No, no, no. They make them very large. They make them very large. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's uh, level one, level two, level three, level four. Level four. <clears throat> so there's four different levels. If you have a Tesla solar panel roof and you have Tesla energy storage systems and you have everything else like that and you have a Tesla car, you're probably not going to get the Tesla charger okay. that plugs into a let receptacle. Me give you, let me give you a little perspective. Yes, you will. That's what comes with the car. You're going to absolutely get that. A little you tiny can, charger. You can plug it into a regular wall receptacle. That's a level one. Okay. Okay. When they move into probably what mentally we think of as a charger, that's typically going to be your level two. And I don't remember the exact range, but it's, you know, the research. The can you find out level one, level two, level three, four? Go ahead. And then level three is going to be what's considered your fast chargers. And this is going to charge the car very quickly, maybe in three or four hours instead of overnight. You know me. Which of the three levels? You would have the supercharger. Okay. Just you would have the one that charges the car in 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah. That means it's a lot of amps. A lot of amps. Mm -hmm. But the problem is this. I already have a house. Now, I don't have a car, and I have a charger. I'm not into that whole thing. But if I had a house, and, a, and, a, and I got a car, and I want the supercharger, then that means that, that, that it's rated 100 amps. That means I'm going to have to change my service, because when I put that sucker in there, so what they did was, here's what they did in 23 code. They said, you know what? Your charger, <coughs> instead of just wiring it directly over to the breaker, let's put something in between the breaker and the charger. And it's going to have a relay. And we're going to come over to the service right here, and we're going to put CTs. And we're going to measure how many amps are traveling in here. And over here in this device here, we're going to have the ability to set this. And whatever the setting is in this energy management system, that setting is considered to be a continuous load. Of course. Because it doesn't know. So if you have a 200 amp electric, ve uh, electric vehicle, oh my, if you have a 200 amp service, let's just say, and you want to put electric vehicle, then you want to get an energy management system that is specifically designed for 200 amps or can be set to 200 amps which means it will automatically set itself to 160. Well, I find it interesting because I used to say that, and when I went to the charges that I looked at, they simply have a setting at 160. If it goes over 160, it turns it, it's a relay, it turns it off. So apparently what you were looking at, which I, what I used to say, which I thought, is that this energy management system, see if I have a picture of it, this specific one right here, is not designed for a specific charger. This little guy right here goes on the CTs, you go inside, and you set this, and it turns it off, and it turns it on. Obviously, I would rather have an energy management system and that would be, I guess, proprietary to my supercharger so that it then throttles my charger. Hey, it got up to <coughs> 160, well, then it turned it off, okay? But I got the 150, well, it gave me 10 amps. You know, as the service load, it would allow me to continue charging. So I would be buying the one that's going to allow me to continue the charge, not turn it off 100%. Okay? Uh, research, you had something to say? Yeah, you asked about charging levels. The three levels currently out there are one, two, and three. A one is a 120 volt charger, 15 or 20 amps. Hold on. A one is 120 volt, how many amps? 15 to 20. So it's 20. Yeah. Okay, so we have 20. Um, well, well, one second. Maybe not, because most of them have 15 amp cord plugs. I was just going to say, <laughs> they can't be 15 to 20 because a 15 amp, you plug in the 15 amp right. receptacle. If it's going to be 20, you need a 20 amp. Right. But they probably make them. Yeah. Okay, got it. Level two is 240 volt up to 80 amps. Level two is 240 volt up to 80 amps. Wow. Okay, I was thinking that was a level three. Okay, go ahead. Level three is 480 volt. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay, Le okay, okay. I would be getting a level two charger in my house up to 80 amps at 125%. It's gonna give me, okay, is 
a level two charger, 80 amps, is that, a con is that, a, is that considered a continuous load? Yes. That was 625? At 42. 42. It's considered, which means if I go to branch circuit 210.19, it says I'm going to have to size the conductor to 125% of the continuous load, have to size a breaker 125% of continuous load, 80 times 1.25, I need a 100 amp breaker, 100 amp wire, that's going to be a 100 amp breaker, 3 gauge wire, table 310.16, boom, I got that. Level 3, 480 volt, 300 amps. 480 volt. Brian, can I? Is that single phase or three phase? Pretty sure there's three phase. Three phase. Okay. And Tesla has a proposed one megawatt charger for their semi. Uh -huh. It would be 1200 amps, three phase. For it. <laughs> 1200 three phase charger. So I'm pretty excited about this one because Elon Musk just said a few days ago that the Cybertruck that I've got on order is going to be compatible with the level four chargers. So I have a feeling <laughs> wow. I'm going to charge my battery in like five minutes. So you can stop at any semi-charging station and charge your Oh, and truck. trucking nice. stations. Yeah. Oh, so all these trucking stops all are going to be, be getting all kinds of And the charge charging. rate is super fast. They said actually that they're anticipating the charge rate will be about the same amount of time it takes to fill a semi with diesel. However long that is. 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. You know, but the, the, you, know, you go in, you eat a couple of things, whatever. Pretty you excited about that. That'll be cool. Wow. Yeah. Is this cool? Hey, yeah. I got. I saw. Super I saw cool. a, something came to me direct message last night. One of the guys posted, and it said that Elon Musk is coming out with a with a computer chip in six months. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and that will it's it's a, it's a computer chip uh, that includes the National Electric Code. <laughs> he says, and that way I can compete against Mike Holt. <laughs> <laughs> Neuralink. 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 I want that. Yeah, I Neuralink. That's like having Neuralink Google, with the Google in your head. Yeah, you just pop that puppy in there, and then you're all good to go. <laughs> I thought that was kind of We are in December. Oh, just show you the video when everybody see it. We are in December 2022, so we'll see what happens. If you can get any NFPA link, Neuralink. NFPA Neuralink. <laughs> Let's see if we can get that in there. All right, ready to go, boys? And girls? Hopefully. All right, so here we go. Apparently, they make them that they can throttle the charging, right. yeah. but you set it at... It, I'm going to go here. I, mean, I don't know if I can zoom in here. Because I thought it was a setting, and I think it isn't a setting. I think you just buy it. This is a 200 amp, which means internally it goes and it sets it to 160, and I'm sure they make them electronically. So you buy this one for... A 200 amp service, you buy for a 100 amp service and a 60 amp, you follow what I'm saying? So you buy the product, it sets with the CT and automatically cuts. What it does is it cuts out the electric vehicle, or in your case, maybe it can even throttle it down. But when you <clears throat> when you asked to have that graphic made, I went online and did a bunch of research into them just because it was interesting, no other particular reason. And it looks like initially when this came out, the initial ones did nothing more than turn them off, and it was a setting only for that purpose. Right. And then what has happened is not even just brand-specific like a Tesla charger, but what's happened is people have realized, oh, well, we actually already have this ability, um, so we're going to go ahead and with our charger, we're just going to provide you with the ability to add CTs to our charger. Our charger is electronic anyway because they... All the car chargers don't just charge necessarily at one speed, and we will internally determine how much current's delivered to the vehicle, and that's where this is just kind of moving. It makes from. sense, right? I mean, don't turn it off just because I'm close to it. I mean, you know, I, I got either 60 amps or I got 100 amps on or it's off. No, allow me to put, give me 10 amp charging, you know, until I can this get This is more. sort of like a load shedding feature. Right. Well, this one, the one I'm thinking the is car. load shedding. And this, what he's talking about is, is energy load, management, load control, Probably. load control, yeah, load you control, know, load demand control. It's a little bit different. It's not off. <laughs>